Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Russell Cup Playoffs. Shout out to Nicole Patoda from Holy Trinity High School singing the national anthem here tonight to get this round two game three matchup between the Temiskaming Titans and the Bradford Rattlers underway from the BWG here in Bradford. Bradford Rattlers have a chance tonight to sweep the Temiskaming Titans and advance to the division final where they will either play the Phil Marie Pirates or the Knights of Meaford. Starting goaltender for tonight's contest. No surprise for the Bradford Rattlers in goal number one, Oliver Balazs, native of Budapest, Hungary. For the Temiskaming Titans, looking to have a big bounce back game here at the BWG. It's number 31. It's Eloy Bouchard, native of Waterville, Quebec, Canada. Balazs comes onto the bench and onto the ice, warms up in its crease area. Linesman signals both goaltenders are ready for tonight's contest. And the puck is dropped, and away we go in a quick start here for the, the visiting Temiskaming Titans as Doyle has to get that puck outside of the zone and skate on back to number 77, Emil Lavalli, who in my opinion has been the best Titan in this series. You're looking at Tyler Baxter flipping it off the glass and out of the zone, Lavalli skating on back after it for the Titans. Played up ahead to Kisma and lost it. Rodin embraced a hit there coming by LaForge and he braced it and got it on back. Danila Filipov, the hot Russian player here for the Bradford Rattlers. A great acquisition by Sean Wirth, general manager of the Bradford Rattlers in the regular season. Who can punch it along to Dylan DiTomaso. Again, another midseason pickup here by the Bradford Rattlers. An outlet pass tipped in by Erickson. Castorniano into the corner. He's shadowed there by Doyle. Castorniano with his quick hands, able to get it over for Rhodeskopf. His shot, a routine glove grab for the netminder Eloy Bouchard, and he will cover with 11 minutes or pardon me, 19 minutes and five seconds remaining in this first period. If you remember last game, game one of this series, it was a blowout from halfway mark in the game. And that just killed the sails of the Temiskaming Titans throughout the contest. But in game two, back in Temiskaming, a one goal win for the Bradford Rattlers. Temiskaming playing a very tight defensive game for the Bradford Rattlers. We're still able to find themselves with a W in hand heading back here in Bradford. And if you're the Rattlers, you do not want to get on a bus and go right back to Temiskaming here tonight as you know the Team Green will want to close the series here tonight. And they have a great opportunity to do it here on home ice. Fonfon had that pass intercepted, but it got over to Brandon Mitchell. Fonfon back after it, punches it away. Balaj can steer it up to Castroniano. Castroniano has Burns on the near side. He's able to use him here. A chip pass out of his reach. He'll be first after into the corner. Not before the whistle sounds and a high sticking penalty coming up to the Bradford Rattlers. Dylan DiTomaso will sit for two minutes for high sticking. And so once again early, just like in game one, the Temiskaming Titans get an early power play here in Bradford. Let's hope for the Titans sake that they can get more looks on the power play as in game one, they really do not have much. A lot of power plays, but just nothing really to test the netminder Oliver Milaj. Let's see how the PK works out here for Team Green. Filipov off the faceoff, caught down by LaForge. That kind of hurt him. But he's able to come on back and retrieve the puck. A centering feed. He found Nathan Hardy, but before he was offside. Not in the lineup here tonight for the Temiskaming Titans. Jacob Tessier, Ganyong, Nicholas Fashon, who is out with an injury. Damian Guzzo, Emmerich Fortin, Austin Perso, and Tyler Fowler. Shorthanded offensive zone faceoff for the Rattlers, pulled on back, no surprise, by the Titans, who are, are up a man. Score clock reads 18-10 to go in this first period. Titans have possession. They are coming in to the BWG, donning their road white uniforms as Nathan Hardy was way offside, but he did try his best to keep onside, nearly doing the splits going on the way down, and he has a little laugh to himself there with his teammates. Hardy will stay out, and so Nico Gregoire takes the face off for the Titans. He lines up against Finn Musi of the Rattlers. Fon Fon in a tie up there with Suda before Lavalli can bank it off the boards into his own end, and it's picked up by Thomas LaForge. Leave it ahead for Gregoire. Centering pass, it's Lavalli. Third center. A pass now over to Fon Fon, who seems to always score here against the Bradford Rattlers. We mentioned that every time he is in the building here tonight. Gregoire to the blue line, picked up by Lavalli on a one-handed stick play. 
LaForge shadowed there by Levitsky, but a backhand dip into the corner. Picked off by Rodzkov. No one in a white uniform was able to get the puck, but it's not cleared. Good keep in there by Hardy. Nico Gregoire. Lavalle, his shot kicked down by Balazs into the corner. Scooped up by Hardy. Gregoire from the blue line. Lavalle picks it around, and he'll turtle away with it. Lavalle, a slap pass down low. Gregoire, sharp angle bid. Just went over the glove hand of Balazs. Still in the zone, however. 40 seconds of power play time to work with for the Titans before Rodzkov can get it on his backhand and fire that puck down the length of the ice. Line changes a plenty right now. Both teams getting fresh units out onto the ice. Felipe Filardo turned on a dime and he's looking over his options. Rodin put his man into the boards. Malm's able to scoop the puck down before Rodin can bank it off the boards. And the netminder Bouchard out of his cage to play the puck. Felipe Filardo. Long pass. Goodell Kismetulin. He's in his shot stopped by Balaj. Rebound Kismetulin trying to knife it down, but it gets to the blue line. Ramon Grain has it. Fortier couldn't get a trigger pull in time and an outlet pass here. Finding Trofimov. Georgie Trofimov has Levitsky heading to the goal. Trofimov back over for Levitsky. Couldn't quite catch up to that pass on his back end. It gets to the blue line. Daniela Filipov fanning on the passing attempt. Getting in there versus LaForge. A good keep in there by Filipov. Jesper Eriksson, his shot, stop, rebound, it's loose. Whacked away into the corner there, and Levitsky's after it. Shielded down by Mongrain. Trofimov, 16, and Green try to whip it across to the near side. Eriksson watching over on the blue line. The puck handler now looking down low for Levitsky to his forehand. He scores! Steven Levitsky, another huge goal by the Rattlers' leading point getter in the regular season. The Bradford Rattlers are off and running. They lead 1-0 in this game three over the visiting Temiskaming Titans. Trifonov on the faceoff at center. Lined up with Maxence Lemaire, and Lemaire was able to win it cleanly. Lavalli has been the most noticeable player, in my opinion, in this series for Temiskaming. Brandon Mitchell, his shot, routine glove grab by Oliver Balage, and he will elect to get a defensive zone face-off in the end. Stefan Levitsky with some great poise right there to score that goal for the Bradford route. As a shot from the blue line by Erickson, who's not normally a defenseman, but he was playing that side in support of some other players. Found a seam and threw, more of a shot pass, and Levitsky was able to read it, pull it to his backhand to the forehand. On a second effort, able to beat the netminder Eloy Bouchard, who was down and out. Chris Castroniano can carry it in his own end, looking for Burns. A good reception there to knife it down. Fonfon embraces a check from McCarthy there, and he just was able to get out of the way. Lemaire played it for Brandon Mitchell. Titans trying to apply some pressure here. It's Doyle across, broken up by Castroniano. He tried to find Fonfon on that pass. Castroniano between his legs. Brandon Mitchell just trying to shove him away. Or pardon me, that was Lavalli rather. To the blue line, Baxter, chip pass. He's able to find Burns on the backhand who can get it into the opposite corner. Now behind the netminder Bouchard before Doyle can spear it away from his man. Lavalli from behind his cage. Ariel dumping. He found Fonfon. What a pass. Christopher Fonfon ring it off the post. An Eric Carlson like pass from Lavalli. Burns a huge reverse hit on his man right in front of the Titans bench and that was Fonfon going down and that's going to be a penalty on the Rattlers. Netminder Bouchard has head to the bench for the extra attacker. At the moment we are six on five before the Rattlers can touch up the puck but right now all the possession to the Temiskaming Titans and they're going to slow everything down and take their sweet time. Nico Gregoire outweights Rodin. A pass through center, it's Hardy, a return for Lavalli. Back at center. A lot of Tabiskamin Titan players surrounding each other right now, and that allows the Rattlers to easily touch up that puck there. And Burns, as he was heading off on a line change with Fonfon, they collided right at the center where the two benches meet. And so the second power play for the Tabiskamin Titans will be coming up here. They again 
story of their special teams unit. They don't really get much on the power play. Nothing too much happened the last time around. Let's see if the Titans can change anything on the fly. It's Nico Gregoire for the faceoff for them. Erickson for the Rattlers. Weinfeld doesn't like what he sees. Doesn't like the position of Brandon Mitchell on the zone. Lots of confusion, so Gregoire is waved out for Hardy. Clean win for Erickson. It goes to Di Damaso. Backhander, and it comes out of the zone. Aggressive penalty killing on by Jakob Rodi, 91 in green. LaForge from behind his own net. Nico Gregoire, 26 in white. Cuts through at center, and he gets into the Rattlers, and what a move, Nico Gregoire, and he just couldn't stuff it in past Balazs. Could have been the goal of the playoffs, and it's only in round two if Gregoire was able to pull off that magnificent move at the very end. Emilio Lavalli, 77 and white. Their center just can't get by Filipov. A good stand up there by Daniela. Long shot from the blue line, quickly in and out of the glove of Bouchard to keep play going. Brandon Mitchell. Getting into the Rattlers' end, stops and looks over, trying to find Stegman heading towards the cage, but a chance here shorthanded at Steven Levitsky for a second of the game. Levitsky, and he just shrugged it wide. Levitsky trying to line up Stegman there, 62 in white. He peels in his own zone and chips it across. Victor Antoine Fortier lost it to Oliver and Maul, but Fortier can scoop it on back. Centering pass, a touch by LaForge, and now Stegman. Long pass for Mongrain. He's in a race after it with Di Damaso. Dylan Di Damaso wins the foot race, and he scoops that puck down the length of the ice. Strong penalty killing so far by the Bradford Rattlers. Only a few shots on these power plays for the Titans, and they look for more. It's Kizmatulin. He's in. He shoots and scores. Gadel Kizmatulin. It's a power play goal, and the Titans have tied it. <laughs> Miss Queen Titans, you just knew they weren't going to go down as easy. After the Rattlers strike first, Titans tied up on the power play. And we have a one goal tie between the Titans and the Rattlers with 12 minutes to go in this first period. Jesper Eriksson and a good back check made by LaForge to knife it away. The games have gotten tighter as the series has gone along. Rodin picks it up from the corner, hounded there by Fortier. Rodin, a crossover for Erickson, looking for a redirect by Skripnik, and that hit him right in the face, look out. That hit Tanner Skripnik right under the visor, and he's holding his nose. Forte, a shot blocked there by two Rattlers, Rodin and Filipov. Stretch pass, trying to do what Lavalli did on the last opportunity for the Smith Green Titans a few minutes ago. A long Eric Carlson stretch pass. Erickson through center. Caught in by Bouchard, and he has seen enough. We hope Tanner Skrebnik is okay, though. Number 27 in green for the Rattlers. Jesper Erickson was in the corner area, just trying to throw that puck on goal, looking for a redirect off something to get that puck into the cage. Unfortunately, it ramped up and hit Skrebnik right under the visor. Dylan DiTomaso found Pavel Rodskov. Alternate captain for the Rattlers, pumped it up for Lucas Waugh. Picked over there by Filardo. He can get it in deep, and so DiTomaso's in a foot race into the corner with Bernitz after him. Boudreau trying to scoop away that puck, and Filardo's battling away there, trying to pull it back into the slot area before it's picked off by Witkowski. Adam Witkowski into the zone. He'll chip and give chase. Lafreniere played it away to Boudreau. Sean Boudreau just trying to chip it off the boards right to the captain of the Rattlers, number five, Julian McCarthy. Steven Levitsky onto the ice, and he has the puck now. He's able to wave his way through, and now a chance here for the Rattlers. Malm with Levitsky. Malm got a trigger pull, but he just shunked it wide. 
Bombs able to pick it up. Fonfon's able to scoop it to his own teammate there. Lavalli, and out come the Titans. A chip away, a shoulder shrug off by Suda. Fonfon back behind the cage, overskated it, and so Oliver and Malm picks it up for the Rattlers. Stretch one, a hard one. Trofimov trying to knock it down. Met with a check into the corner there by Doyle. It comes to the blue line. Suda tees the one up, kicked out with a purpose by the netminder Bouchard with the pad. Trofimov back behind the cage, 16, and Green played it over to Malm. Levitsky returned it back over for Trofimov. Georgie Trofimov back in front, Malm scores! Or did he? Signal on the ice is no goal, but that looked awfully close to finding its way into the goal, and it went off the post. I fooled you all. I was just making sure everyone was paying attention. Call on the ice is no goal, so it's still a 1-1 tie here in Bradford. Jerry Mongrain. After it for the Titans, played over for Stegman, didn't get a stick on it. That allows Tyler Baxter in his zone and to make an outlet pass. Castor Nano was able to get a one-touch stick play into the zone as he lunged in after it. Stegman has to locate it in his feet before three Rattlers surround him. He's going to use his speed, however. Stegman's able to separate himself between the pile, try to knife his way through the defense of the Rattlers, but he can't do so. Shot on goal, steered aside by Balaj Kismetula into the blue line, and it's Fortier shooting that one into the glove of Oliver Balaj. Most of the shots that Timiskaming has fired on goal have been rather routine-like for Oliver Balaj. Not many have been screened or deflections, rebounds, etc. However, they can say they have beaten Oliver Balaj here tonight. That shot pass was then intercepted by Di Tommaso. Rodin up into the zone now. He'll test it at Minder Bouchard, who can kick it aside into the corner. Swatted to the blue line before Rodzkov can elevate it back into the zone. Skripnik is back out onto the ice. Good to see. Di Tommaso bobbled the puck at the blue line before LaForge is all after him. Nico Gregoire. Gonna get that puck as far as center, and so Rodin's back in with a drop pass to Skripnik. Try to return it for Rodin, couldn't do so, but it's Rosecup at the blue line. His shot was blocked by Hardy going down. Erickson over from Jerry Mongrain, got away from him. Rodin to the high slot, shoots the puck and scores! Tanner Skripnik, who got a puck in the face not even five minutes ago, comes back and he scores the goal to give the Rattlers the one goal lead back. It is 2-1 for Team Green with 8-17 to go in this first period. Yes, for Erickson, he scored a similar goal like that from the high slot in game one. Peels over and creeps into the high slot, this time shooting it in a beautiful redirection by Tanner Skripnik. Makes it a 2-1 lead for the Bradford Rattlers here tonight from the BWG here on this Saturday night on ice. And we are glad that everyone here, everyone is here to tune in and watch this action here tonight. You hear JR announce the Tanner Skripnik goal. Off the face off of Slavitsky to the blue line Suda. Back over to Stepan Levitsky, a nice move, a hard pass there. Went off the bank pass to Filipov. He'll walk the line, Filipov. Didn't like what he see. Brandon Mitchell's all over him. Daniela Filipov, look at him go. He's able to play it over for Daniel Suda. Suda tried to punch it back down low. A pair of 24s doing battle for their respective teams. Steven Levitsky has Malm watching into the high slot area. He'll get it over for Filipov from the blue line. Watch there by Fonfon. Filipov again able to peel his way away from danger over for Trofimov. A pirouette move, getting Ron Mitchell without a stick, a shot, big rebound for Levitsky, but he just couldn't get a stick in the right placement. Pressure still on for the Rattlers. It's Filipov, 
Going back into the zone, picked off by Lemaire, and he can't clear the zone. Troll from off a touch pass, it's Daniela Filipov. His shot looking for a redirection there before Bouchard can locate it and then pounce on the rebound to halt play with seven minutes and 12 seconds to go in this first period. Doyle and Levitsky having some words for each other here. It didn't seem to be friendly. But it's the playoff, so to be expected. Off the tie-up, who shielded down Trifonov. Just trying to put it on goal before it was then caught out of midair by Bouchard. Trifonov on the face-off for the Rattlers. Lavoie for the Titans, and he was able to win it 12 and white. Trifonov got a high stick on Stegman that went on call. The Rattlers got lucky here, and look out here, a collision between Balazs and the player going down Stegman, and I believe the Rattlers really penalized here. Indeed they will, and it looks to be the captain, Julian McCarthy. We'll be heading off for hooking. What Joe Todd always used to say to me, Nick, hooking illegal on and off the ice. One of the great Joe Todd sound bites. Uh, there, there are so there's so many of them. There are just so many of them. Always gotta shout out my boy Joe Todd. Clean face-off win shorthanded by Erickson, allowing the Rattlers to send that puck back down the length of the ice to kill about eh, 10 seconds of power play time for the Titans. Stegman using his speed to hound after that puck. Rodskov there. Picked off Stegman. Tied up there by Di Tommaso. Rodskov pinned up as well by Lavoie. Good keep in there by Mongreen. Goodell Kismetulin doing great work and still protecting that puck. Played over to the blue line where Mongreen, after it was Rodney, but comes back down low to Lavoie. Stegman now punches on to the opposite corner now. Lavoie took a check there by Rodskov. It got to the blue line. Fortier got it back down low. It gets to Kismetulin. His shot deflected on wide before Lavoie can turn it back away. Fortier thought about the shot, didn't take it. Mongreen looking for a redirection. Did get a redirect, but went right to Rodskov, and they still can't clear the zone of the Rattlers. Erickson going to try here. Two players in a bit of a stick battle there. And for the Rattler, penalty killers there. you got to keep your feet moving as you see Tabasso make that shot block. It comes to the blue line. Gizma Tool and his shot fluttered on wide. Lavoie, a backhand no-looking pass. Dangerous, but it works here as the Titans still have possession of the puck. Gizma Toulin back on low to Lavoie, just trying to stuff it in front of the net mouth. Mongrain back over to Fortier. His pass able to locate it as Hardy off the bank boards. It goes over for Mongrain back to Fortier. Long sauce pass, a little too risky there, but the Rattlers still can't clear. Five minutes to go in the period, 14 to go on the power play. Gregoire returned it. Mongrain got a shot, big rebound for Hardy, and he couldn't get enough wood on that one-time shot. And the Rattlers unable to clear the zone again. Gregoire. Back for Kismetulin. Hard centering feed. Look out. Nearly bounced off of Hardy into the cage. And we're back on five on five. And luckily for the Rattlers, the Titans send that puck back into their own end of the ice. The Valley will just settle everything down. Picking it up is Gregoire. A return to La Valley. Centering pass. Trying to locate Fonfon. Broken up. And Mom sends it back down the length of the ice from the wrong side of center, and so icing is called on Team Green. Four twenty-one. time remain in this first period. A 2-1 lead for the Bradford Rattlers here tonight. Malman Fonfon. Line up on the faceoff. Malm can win it for the Rattlers. Filipov. Aerial pass was gloved down by Lavalli at the blue line. Bernitz after it. 91 for the Titans. Tyler Baxter had him lined up, and that able was able to allow the Rattlers to get the puck. 
Trofimov there for the Rattlers, trying to locate Levitsky, heading to the goal. He was shrugged away by Lavalli. Levitsky to the blue line, catching it as Filipov walks the line, tees it up, shoots that one, and he got the glass. Levitsky puts a hit on his man back behind the play. Filipov the puck handler, through center, Trofimov a touch. It's Malm leaving it for Trofimov, trying to get by LaFour. She has it on the backhand, trying to move it back in front, but he's going to go around the net. Trofimov, dangerous pass there, trying to find Levitsky, but it works, however. Daniela Filipov back in, Trofimov thought about the shot, and he'll walk the line, getting by LaForge. Lemaire, rather, he was able to get around as Trofimov still with it. To the blue line, Dita Masso, a long high shot, got the glass, and it kicked wide. Filipov, the defenseman, pinching in. Trofimov behind the cage, shot about the Michigan pass. You remember Sonny Milano and Trevor Zegras pulling that off for the Ducks. As you see Filipov testing the netminder Bouchard there, who was able to read it with the blocker. Levitsky at the very end of his shift. He's the lone rattler in the zone, and he played it to no one. Sven Musi for the Rattlers, a drop pass, Castagnano. The return pass was a little too hard as Suda had to race on after it. Forte, peeled it on back, broken up by Kizmatulin. Mongrain, Lavoie, able to make a one-handed touch play into the zone. Daniel Suda picks it up on the backhand to Didamasso. Didamasso broken up by Stegman. He got it over to the blue line. Mongrain won't shoot. Fortier will. His shot kicked on wide on a big rebound to the opposite corner. Didamasso meeting Lavoie with a check there. Didamasso goes down, but the play will continue. Shot blocked there. Fortier, he has it now before it's scooped away by Burns and out of the zone. A minute 50 to go, and this is the first period. Di Tommaso, oh, right off the official. That allows Gregoire to get back in for the Titans. His shot stopped by Balage. big rebound, Hardy there, rebound! LaForge scores! That's just hockey. I mean, the referees and linesmen are a part of the play, and sometimes they do interfere with where the puck is going. And unfortunately, just so happened to be one of the reasons why the Titans have just tied this contest up at two apiece with a minute 38 to go. Titans aren't going down easy. That's the message we've gotten in this first period as that pass went off the linesmen. You see, they are, they're a part of the play. Doesn't happen all the time, but when it does happen, depending on what team you cheer for, it definitely sucks. Lavalli through center, Fon Fon Loco got drilled there by Baxter. And Tyler Baxter is heading off for interference. Coaching staff of the Tabiskaming Titans just talking it over with one of the near officials to decide what personnel should or shouldn't be on the ice right now. Fonfon Fon got nailed there by Baxter. And surprisingly, Fonfon Fon is still skating and he seems to be okay. I thought the Titans were going to call a timeout, but I guess they won't. Tyler Baxter sits two minutes for interference. Titans get their third power play of this period. Gregoire and Musi, the centerman. Clean win shorthanded by the Rattlers, Dylan DiDomaso. LaForge can settle it down in his own end. Musi is after him. This main Titans take a look at the big score clock above Oliver Balage that reads 48 seconds to go in the first period. 
Lavalli is able to dump it into the opposite corner. Daniel Suda racing after it before Castroneno tried to clear the zone, but he can't do so. Good check there by Suda on his man. It goes around where Di Tommaso can fling it off the boards and out of the zone as Slavitsky hustling after Nico Gregoire into the corner. LaForge with 20 seconds to go in the period. Takes his time on the breakout. He found Hardy. Hardy returned it, intercepted, short-handed breakaway. Yes, Bray Erickson. Stop by Bouchard. Titans almost just got caught napping there. As that is a sloppy way to conclude this first period. After 20 minutes of play, the Rattlers two, the Titans two. Rattlers will begin the second period on the power play after this intermission.
Second period set to get underway between the Titans and the Rattlers in this round two game three. The Miskaming Titans will start the second period with a 54 second power play. Eli Bouchard just doing some last minute warm up right now before he's ready to go. Gives a signal, so does Oliver Malage. And the puck is dropped and away we go with period number two. Again, Titans still on the man advantage. Rodin in a battle there, puts his men down right in front of the Rattler bench. That allows Lavoie to play it over to Gizmatulin. One of the goal scorers for the Titans here tonight. 14 and White peels on again. Hard stretch pass. It's Jerry Mongreen getting it into the zone. Stegman after it with Dito Masso watching his every move to the blue line. Fortier, his shot blocked by the stick of Erickson. That allows Rodin to escape free with it and a good shield flag down there by Fortier to knock it out of midair and gain that puck right in back into the zone. A hard shot testing Oliver Balage to the blue line at Stegman. Rodin does a flyby. Stegman has some room. We'll get it over to Jerry Mongrain. Looking for a redirection there. It came loose and it got to the opposite side. Di Tommaso trying to clear the zone and Baxter's out of the box. We're back to five on five. Stegman from behind Oliver Balage on the wraparound bid stopped by Balage. Puck is loose for Jakob Rodin. Rodin with Baxter, Erickson and Filipov trailing behind him. Trofimov in exchange for Baxter out into the ice before Bouchard can make the cover up and all play. It's only around the halfway mark of the second period that the Bradford Rattlers seem to find another gear. Starts definitely, especially in the latter goings of the regular season. Starts were not the Rattlers' strong suit. And I've mentioned many a broadcast before that the midway mark of the game is when the Rattlers really start to turn it on as you see Hardy getting into it with Malm. Shot by Suda, shielded wide. Trofimov. Back after it, centering pass, looking for Suda, broken up by LaForge, and out he comes. But Daniel Suda over him, just trying to get by Roskov, but Pavel having none of that. So Suda can find Roskov. Hit center and dumps in. Doyle overskated at Hardy, back to Baxter. He and McCarthy will juggle the puck here. McCarthy, a nice stutter step move, and then another one. Doyle with Trofimov on him, banked it off the boards. It's McCarthy getting it back to the goal. A juggling puck was loose and not covered by the netminder Bouchard. That puck was bobbling on all sorts of directions and it got low and then high in a heartbeat as Bouchard had to make an alert blocker stop off the Julian McCarthy shot. Bringing it back in was the captain Castorniano testing Bouchard on a tricky backhand stop. Back into the corner, it's 15 in green, Castagnano. Fonfon all over him, and he forced him into a bad pass, and that allows Tyler Baxter to skate on back and make the defensive play for the Rattlers. McCarthy, aerial dump, perfect, found Castagnano. Puck was bobbling on all sorts of directions, so he couldn't quite settle it. Mitchell, play it back over to Lavalli. Over for Doyle, he'll get it back onto the far side. Mitchell in a foot race with Di Damaso. Ryan St. John punches it back behind the cage of Oliver Balazs, and so Di Damaso, a breakout pass to Witkowski. Had a hurry, that chip play as the defenseman Lavaldi was pinching in aggressively. Witkowski on a steal, and an odd man rush maybe developing for the Rattlers, it's Burns. Fonfon's all over him, back into the corner. It's Wetkowski, a centering pass to the high slot, trying to shield it down is St. John, but he couldn't quite get a handle on it. Max in Slamere, skating after Lucas Waugh, and it gets sent back in for Doyle's way. Brandon Mitchell lost the handle from Ryan St. John. You can play it off the high glass right to Wetkowski. Lucas Waugh picks it up, has Triffin off with him. Lucas Waugh can test Bouchard in the high slot. And Bouchard makes the breadbasket save on Waugh. Never a bad idea to test the netminder of the opposite team. That's exactly what the Rattlers are doing here. They're throwing everything they can at Bouchard. But credit to the Titans defensive. They have been very good at getting in the shooting lanes, blocking all sorts of shots by the 
Bradford Rattlers. Centering pass at Skripnik for a second of the contest and he couldn't beat Bouchard. Erickson still with it, goes down, tries to make a play before Mongreen can get it, pardon me, not out of the zone before Falardo skates on back after and the puck does finally escape through the blue line. Bernitz in a stick battle, Falardo can peel it on back to her Fortier. Right into the paraphernalia of Jesper Eriksson. A chip pass intercepted by Bernitz. Trying to Titans like to do that chip play and it hasn't worked two times in a row without allow Skripnik to bring it in on the backhand and he shielded it wide. Rodin from the blue line. It's Roskov back over for Rodin and he fanned on the one-time shot. Filipov engaging down low. Skripnik lost the handle and a chance here for the Titans on an odd man rush. A three on one and Falardo had that poked away on a good defensive read by Rodskov. Tanner Skripnik, a breakout dish, hits Rodin. Jakob Rodin between his legs, going down on the backhand shot. Rebound for Eriksson. Rodin has to catch up for it before Mongrain can kick it aside. Jesper Eriksson, forehand to backhand. Ran out of real estate by Falardo. To the blue line at Suda. Return pass over for Rodin. Back for Eriksson, try to touch it into the corner. Couldn't do so. Michael Stegman turns away from one check. Rodin gets planted there by Stegman. Lead pass. It's Suda. His shot kicked down with the blocker of Bouchard. That comes over for the blue line. McCarthy wasn't able to locate it in time, so it escapes the zone. Daniel Suda back in, dumps in. Stegman, 62 and White can make the pass. Goodell Kizmatul and up to Stegman. Mitchell Stegman lost in. Lost in the skates was Suda. Rebound right direction in front. Stop by Balazs and the puck winds up in. It's Michael Stegman giving the Titans the one goal lead. For the first time in tonight's contest, the Tomisk Bank Titans have the lead here over the Bradford Rattlers. Nico Gregor on the faceoff at center. Sven Musi was right in front of him to win it back for his respective team in green. Rattlers are back in. It's Musi and Burns. Burns a shot. Calm save made by Bouchard. This is what's dangerous about the Tmiskaming Titans. We are afraid that this is the Eli Bouchard the Rattlers would face here tonight. The always dominant the goaltender that's able to steal a game for your team here tonight. And if Bouchard plays the way he keeps playing right now, that would definitely be the case for the Titans as when Bouchard is on, he is on. Stop and play here with 13.46 to go in the second period again. Titans lead by one by three to two from the BWG here in Bradford. The Forge on the Carroll. Good tip in there by Hardy into the corner. Baxter after it. Castroniano intercepted LaForge. His shot into the glove of Oliver Balage. Nothing much the netminder Oliver Balage could do on the most recent Tomiskaming Titan goal that gave him the lead. Balage was down and out, sprawling on all sorts of ways. The puck was just sitting in the crease area for about a good few seconds before Stegman was finally able to cash in. Jakob Rodin for the Rattlers. At center, he sprung Erickson. Erickson, Skripnik, a good job by him to stay onside. That one went off of Bongrain and fluttered on wide. Rattlers that possession into the corner. It's number eight, Jesper Erickson. Fortier all over him. Rodzkov swiping at that puck into the zone, but it gets over to Stegman. Broken up by the maze of Rattler players corralling the middle of the ice surface. Long stretch pass. It's Jakob Rodin with a chance here. A toe drag move and a one too many moves, you could say as Mongrain read his every move. Kizma Tulin back in for the Titans, goes around the netminder Balaj to the high slot area. Stegman wasn't able to locate it. A chance now for Skripnik on the breakout. He has Rodin of the puck handler now. Rodin, a drop pass, Erickson, he shoots and scores!
Jesper Eriksson with all sorts of room, and he makes no mistake, and the Bradford Rattlers have tied it up by a score of 3-3. Three three. Doyle back after it for the Titans. A bit of a hush came down on the BWG prior to that Jesper Eriksson goal, and that goal gets all the fans here on their feet and making all sorts of noise as you hear JR make the Jesper Eriksson goal. Rodin and Suda will get the assist on the Eriksson goal. Navalli in his own end. Hits center, punches it away to Fonfon, broken up by Suda. Lemaire can play it on back. Doyle made the pass while going down. He sprung Fonfon, who gets dogged to the ice there by Suda and got a punch in the back of the head while he's at it. And those two players jostling back behind the play. Fonfon will now take the puck with Suda watching him. And look out, those two with a good physical check there. Both players not giving an inch. Here in the playoffs, the Russell Cup playoffs here, and they will meet again. Trifonov can skate with it, trying to find Trofimov. Icing will be waved off, however. Bouchard out of its cage to play it. Lost it to Trofimov. It's Georgi Trofimov just over skated and a chance here for LaForge. On a breakaway with Trofimov all over him. LaForge, a backhander stopped by Balazs, and he's able to pounce on the rebound. That's Baxter getting into it with LaForge back behind the play. Over in Mom trying to play peacekeeper here. Hardy and Filipov have a little meeting there before they will skate away. Offensive zone face off for the Titans with 11.08 to go in the second period. Fortier shot sticked away by Balaj and he redirects up and out of play. Hardy will take the face off against Sven Musi, a clean win by Sven. But comes to Castroniano's way, couldn't handle it down. Mongrain will test the netminder Balazs, who can stick it aside into the corner. The Forge can chip it in by Baxter, and so St. John will race after it. Oh, look out, got lost an edge while going down, crashes hard into the end boards, but he's back up. The Forge back after it for the Titans. Baxter will send it up and out of play. Looked like to me St. John got tripped while going into the corner, but kind of looking at it back really quickly, one of those instances where the player just lost an edge. Ryan seems to be all right as he still remains out onto the ice, and that is always a good sign to see. Falardo on the face off, a clean win by him. Mongrain pinch it to the blue line, and a chance here on a 2 on 0 Burns with Castroniano to Castroniano, and they can't get a shot away. One too many passes there, and if you're all alone on a chance like that, maybe just shoot and try to go for a rebound as they were able to get the pass across to Castroniano, but due to him being a left-handed shot, he had to receive that on the backhand, so he didn't really get too much on it, but it found a hole through Bouchard, but the net was off, and I think the puck was going to go wide anyway. Both sides are... Getting their chances in tonight's game. Both goaltenders have been great. They gotta give a lot of credit to the Tamiskaming Titans defense as look out to the Rattler bench, but that puck can stay in the plain area. Tamiskaming Titans showing a very, very steady defensive game here tonight. Pavel Rodskov, the goal back down low for Erickson. Erickson to the blue line, all alone as Rodin on the bobbling puck shot, and it redirected, and Erickson was trying to locate it before it gets into the corner. Picked up by LaForge on a stretch pass to Michael Stegman, who can spear it out of the zone for the Titans. Oh. 
Hard pass by Di Tommaso, and the Rattlers will be called on icing. Whistle comes with nine minutes and 32 seconds remaining in this second period. We gotta find a way to get like an actual timer going on in the score clock, so I know that will greatly help all the viewers watching at home or wherever you are tuning in to get this tonight's contest. We have to have another man on the side to kind of stop the clock every time it's going down. We have to do it manually. As you see the Titans applying some offensive pressure here before the puck escapes the zone. Kismatulin, goal scorer here tonight for the Titans. A bobbling puck handled by Balazs. To the blue line, Lavalli, another bobbling puck. Balazs is quickly able to pounce on that puck. Got to be impressed with the game of the Tomiskaming Ming Titans. And the first game we saw here of the playoffs between these two teams, it did not go too well for Tomiskaming. Ming. They got blown out big time. Must have changed something as they have been playing very good, playing up to the Bradford Rattlers. And that is very, very hard to do. No matter how this contest ends, you will tip your cap to the Tomiskaming Ming Titans. Troll from off in the timekeeper's area. Lost the handle to Brandon Mitchell. He can play it over to Lemaire. Lost the handle on Solovitsky and a tie up there with Lemaire still. Bernitz comes in, lays the body on his man. Delayed penalty coming up to the Titans, but a troll from off his shot got the glass. Bouchard may have got a piece of it with the shoulder as Balazs was hustling to the bench of the extra attacker and an elbowing call is coming up against the Tomiskaming Titans. And so the Bradford Rattlers will have themselves a power play in a few moments. Richard Bernitz, number 91, will head off for elbowing. That is the official call. And so the power play will start for the Bradford Rattlers with 8.21 remaining in the second period. Clean faceoff win by Nico Gregoire, however, but the puck stays in the zone. Levitsky down low, it's Rodin. Shadowed by Mongrain. Lovitsky now to Erickson. Erickson return pass for Lovitsky. Bobble the puck. That allows Hardy to slap it down. Erickson trying to escape through Hardy, and he did so. Jakob Brodin with Mongrain looking at him. Brodin, Musi, Erickson, and Lovitsky broke his stick on the pass. Jesper Eriksson punches it ahead for Rodin. Jakob Rodin can gain the zone, punch it to the opposite side where Trofimov can pick it up. Trofimov being tied up, but he got it free to Eriksson. Down low for Musi. There are no defensemen on this power play unit. Five forwards out for the Bradford Rattlers. Trofimov, two Titans watching over him, and he gets it away to Sven Musi. Switzerland native got it across to Trofimov. Bobbled it momentarily, and that allows LaForge to be all over him. And Trofimov makes the only play he could really do, just give it to his netminder, Oliver Balazs. Trofimov back in, has Burns, and he uses him here. Burns will test the netminder Bouchard from distance, and he'll just get an offensive zone faceoff as a result. Sloppy is a good word to describe this Rattler's power play. And you know, head coach David Moody will hold his boys accountable. Face-off win for the Rattlers. They have possession. Dita Maso to Filipov. They will play catch with it. Dita Maso will just shoot it on goal. Blocked by Doyle, who slapped it back over to Michael Stegman. Stegman, the lone Titan back with there's four Rattlers. Stegman just doing what he can to kill off the power play. Power play now has eight seconds remaining in it. So it looks like it'll be another successful kill by the Tomiskaming Queen Titans. 6.20 to go. We are back to five on five. Bernitz is out onto the ice. Filipov, the defenseman going down low, trying to lay a reverse hit on Doyle. He is then pinned up. 
Bernit, fresh out of the penalty box, the puck handler can play it off the bank. Picked up by Skripnik, and he fires it back in. The Valley left it for Doyle. Doyle took a hit there by Skripnik before he could make the play to Gregoire, who just overskated it. A lot of back and forth between these two teams right now as Hardy steps onto the ice and he's going to head right to the front of the net before the pass can be broken up by Baxter on a great defensive play and Hardy will split both defensemen on that blue line pass. The Valley 77 and White plays it to LaForge. LaForge can gain the zone, try to get away from Baxter, but he couldn't do so. That's another opportunity for the Titans. They just can't get by Tyler Baxter. Castroniano for the Rattlers. Nearly overskated it and he whipped it back into the slot area. Rodian unable to collect it in time. Rodian has Gregoire all over him. He'll slap it to the near blue line where Suda can bank it down low to Castroniano. He and Suda switch places. Baxter back to Erickson. He'll shoot one on goal. Rebound is loose and picked up by Lavalli who had a stick lifted before he can get the return pass by LaForge and Lavalli skates free from the Titans. Trying to get away by Baxter and that's Lavalli. Trying to force a play that isn't quite there, and that's been a theme for any team that's really came in to this building here in the regular season. One thing you can't do as a team is force plays that aren't there. As you see, Gregoire in the high slot got a shot loose, and it juggled by Balaj before he swatted it into the corner with his catching glove. Erickson a chip pass to Rodin. He got it in deep before LaForge can get it over to Mongrain. Gidel Kizmetulin will hit center and then break in. Kizmetulin whipping it towards the goal, caught out of the air by Balaj, and Shin, he will get a faceoff coming up to the left of him. Four minutes and 12 seconds, time remaining. Offensive zone faceoff win for the Titans and got it right to the slot area. Kismetulin unable to get a stick on it in time. Titans doing a good job keeping the Rattlers on their own end, but they might get a breakout chance here. But it just went as far as center with possession still to the Titans. And so it's Di Damaso. Off the boards, but not out. Kept in. Rhodeskopf with Lavoie all over him. Trofimov made the no-luck pass, was intercepted, and then he's able to get it out of the zone, but still possession to the Titans. Slap back in off of Stegman. It does get into the zone, but the Titans will look to get a line change here. Iceland will be waved off on the Rattlers. Mongrain after it first for the Titans. Played over to Fortier. Through center, Oliver and Mall. Filipov, good job angling Fortier into the boards. Bernitz lays a hit on Rodzkov. Pavel just trying to scoop that puck into a comfortable area. Stretch pass, split the D, it's Steven Levitsky. He's in, his shot was loose and stopped and it goes into the corner, but a delay penalty coming up to the Tomiskaming Titans as Levitsky, a little slow to get up as he crashed into the netminder Bouchard and good show of sportsmanship between the netminder Bouchard and the speedy Russian winger, Steven Levitsky. Penalty upcoming to the Tomiskaming Titans. Jerry Mongrain will be the guilty party for the Titans. Another power play in this period for the Bradford Rattlers. They have a great chance here to take the lead of this contest once again to regain that one goal lead. That's the most. That any team has led in tonight's contest, just one goal. Eli Bouchard seems to be good to go. Puck is dropped and the power play has started, but it ain't gonna be a good start. As here comes Hardy shorthanded. Trying to get by the forward Steven Levitsky who cuts right in front of Balazs and Hardy goes down. Titans looking to get another call, but none coming. Levitsky. Slaps it off the end boards. 
to the blue line, it's Musi. Again, five forwards are on the ice on this power play. Erickson's shot got the glass. Sven Musi picks up the puck for the Rattlers. Musi into the corner, down low for Rodin. Rodin, Levitsky, he'll shoot one into the glove of Bouchard. Minute 23 to go on the power play for the Rattlers. 2.12 to go in the period. The second period. The Forge will get to the puck first over Di Tommaso. The Forge is trying to kill as much time as he can. Trofimov back on the power play for the Rattlers. Using his speed here. Sharp angle shot. Big rebound for Skritnik who scores! Tanner Skripnik picks up his second goal of tonight's contest, and it's a power play goal for the Rattlers, and they have back the one goal lead here tonight with one minute, 47 seconds to go in the second period. Tanner Skripnik, second of tonight's contest. Jared and Richardson, JR, make the goal announcement. His third of the playoffs for Tanner Skrimnik as that shot by Rodin off the glass right into the glove of the netminder Eloy Bouchard who has been stellar here tonight. Nico Gregoire and Sven Musi should know themselves pretty well as they've lined up in almost every face-off in tonight's contest. Puck possession to Nathan Hardy, but the forge is offside. Again, the winner of this series will meet either the Vilmarie Pirates or the Knights of Meaford in the division final. And then the winner of that series will go on to the national championship, I think it's called, where the winner of each division will meet in a three-team round-robin kind of deal to determine the true GMHL champion. Rattlers are offside with a minute seven to go. Last time the Bradford Rattlers made it to a Russell Cup final was all the way back in 2012-2013. And that was the season where they went a dominant 42-0-0 in the regular season, ultimately winning the Russell Cup. But since then, Rattlers just couldn't quite find a way to get back to that place. And how many NHLers tell you that your first trip to the final is you never know if that could be your last. There's one team to go to the Russell Cup Finals out of all the Bradford Rattler teams. This is the year. As you see Levitsky trying to get it back for Rodin. It's loose for a moment before Bouchard can finally cover up the puck with 48 seconds to go in the second period. The Forge will meet Erickson on this offensive zone faceoff for the Rattlers. It's won by the Titans. They've done a good job here tonight, winning about, I'd say, a little more than half of the faceoffs in tonight's contest. Icing will 
be waved off. On the Bradford Rattlers here as Rodin is back into the zone with the puck. Trying to get it down low, but it's broken up by Kismetulan off the glass and out. 20 seconds remain in the second period. It's Pavel Rodzkov to play it to Daniel Suda. Stretch pass, Rodin. Maybe one last chance here for goal for the Rattlers. A drop pass for Erickson, and the puck does come out of the zone as Suda can just chip it back in, and this is how we will end 40 minutes of play. After two, the Rattlers four, the Titans three. We'll be back for the third period of play after this intermission.
third period set's going underway between the Titans and the Rattlers. The Bradford Rattlers will open this period with a one goal lead that they got late into the second period as Skripnik looking for a hat trick there as he shot it wide. This is where we get to see where both teams, what both teams are made out of. As you see, the Titans got a good chance of goal right there. Lavalli put it away. Kizma Tulin back down low for Doyle. Doyle will look for Stegman. Found him. Skripnik tried to shield it down, and he did so. Rodin, a nice pass. Eriksson back to Skripnik. Kicked out by Bouchard with a big rebound. Filipov returned it back on goal before a glove stop is made by Bouchard. I saw Bouchard in the warm-ups taking shots by all the players on the Titans. He is very good going side to side. His lateral movement is, I would have to say, one of the best I've seen in the GMHL. Castroniano off the face-off. Di Damaso's shot was blocked. Rhodeskov will send it back in for the Rattlers. Fortier. Off the bank to LaForge. LaForge lost it from Hardy, but a chance for Musi. He'll spring it down the length of the ice with icing being waved off. Burns after it first. William Daniel Burns to the blue line. Dita Masso firing it back down low. Pavel Rodskov pinching it into the zone. Castrignano lost the handle. Flutter pass. LaForge able to find his man. A chance now for LaForge back behind the defense. His shot stopped by Balage. Di Damaso able to get that puck out of the zone. Handled now by Mongrain. He'll go over to Fortier. The Temiskaming Titans are playing for their season right now. If they lose here tonight, the Bradford Rattlers will advance to the division final. And you know, Temiskaming does not want to be a part of a handshake line just yet. Steven Levitsky with Mongrain all over him going into the boards. Trofimov after it. Bernitz, 91 and White can make the pass over to Brandon Mitchell. Mitchell flagged away by Suda and here comes Stepan Levitsky. Doyle watching him, a back pass. It's Trofimov getting away from Mitchell, who is standing flat-footed. Trofimov just trying to wheel it back to the cage. Couldn't do so. Lavalia a pass to Doyle. Trifonov all over him, trying to shield that puck away from Brandon Mitchell. Levitsky back in the zone, picked off by Waugh. His shot, big rebound by Bouchard, trying to bank it in off Bouchard, but it's loose. Lucas Waugh still has it. He'll just whip it across to the blue line to Daniel Suda. His shot, big rebound for Waugh. Trying to locate it there. The puck is still loose in the high slot. Levitsky still whacking away before Lavalli can escape free and gets tripped up, but no call. Daniel Suda now off the bank, and he didn't get it as far as he wanted to as Falardo was there to intercept. Pardon me, that was Kizmatulin, rather. Adam Witkowski back in for the Rattlers. He snapped it wide, picked up by Michael Stegman. Has a goal here tonight. He'll just leave it over for his band, Gadel Kizmatulin. His shot wide of Balage. Tyler Baxter, the defenseman, picking up that puck to spring. Jesper Eriksson with Witkowski coming in behind him. Jesper Eriksson from the forehand, and he punched it off the shoulder of Eloy Bouchard, and it's up and out of play. Sixteen minutes and twenty-two seconds remain in this third period. Yes, for Erickson and Lavoy. Well line on the face-off. A tie up there in possession to Tamiskaming. Stegman off a chip pass, getting after it, swatted away by Balage with the goal stick. Got it to the corner where Skripnik trying to weave away his round his man. Mon Green got it over to Fortier. Couldn't get it. Trying to spring Skripnik on a breakaway pass, and he does so here. Skripnik shot and he just missed wide.
Tanner Skripnik, the puck seems to be following him here tonight. Just one of those nights for Tanner. St. John pinching in defensively. Skripnik lost the handle on it before Baxter can make the return play. Icing will be waved off and a stick up into the face of Michael Stegman. And that's going to be a high sticking penalty on Rodin. Stegman does wear the protective cage covering his face. Some call it a fishbowl. And the way that Stegman was grabbing looked to get him in the throat area. If you get a stick in the face, even if you have a cage protecting your face, he's, it, your instinct still kind of kick your head back. And I believe that is one of the reasons why the play was called. Huge power play for the Timiskaming Titans on a glorious chance to tie up the contest at four aside. Dylan D. Tommaso with Christopher Fonfon in deep. But cleared out by the Bradford Rattlers. Emile Lavalli, 77 and white, who in my opinion has been the best player from a Timiskaming Titan in this series. A chance here, shorthanded on a three on one. Levitsky with Filipov, back to Levitsky and a good defensive read was made by LaForge. Levitsky in the tie up there with Hardy. That allows Nico Gregoire to skate away with the puck number 26 and wait. You see him come across center and into the Rattlers end trying to get by Castroneno. He will do so before the puck comes to Balazs and he will hold on for a cover and a halt of play with 14 minutes and 45 seconds to go in the third period. One minute and five seconds remain of the Titans power play. Face off win by the Rattlers and they get that puck down the length of the ice. To the left of your screen, you see the netminder Bouchard. Leave it for Fortier and Fortier left it for Kismatulin. Bongrin back into the zone. Stegman able to glove it down. Two Rattlers are after the puck handler. LaForge pinned up into the corner end by Suda, and that allows Erickson to get that puck down the length of the ice, and a line change on for the Rattlers forward-wise. Musi and Levitsky, the two that come on for the Bradford Rattlers here tonight, who are shorthanded from their 25 seconds. Kismetulin and Daniel Suda. Suda lays the body on Kismetulin to the blue line. Fortier fan on the shot. A rebound, it's loose, and it went wide of the cage. Suda flanking it by the other end. Levitsky trying to spear it away, but he lost his stick. A chance now with some separation. Mongrain shot kicking it out with the pad by Balaj. And the Rattlers can clear the puck, and we are back to five on five. Another successful kill by the Bradford Rattlers penalty killing unit. Sauce pass intercepted. Filipov into the glove of Bouchard. What a stop. <laughs> Oliver and Malm off the tie up. Levitsky coming in. Lemaire in a battle there. Mitchell couldn't shield it down. Mom got a trigger pull in time, but it was blocked by Lavalli, and he is laboring his one leg. Emil Lavalli, 77 and white, hunched over. As Trofimov made a centering pass. Mom, big rebound, and it just skittered aside into the corner. To the blue line, Filipov. Returned it to Trofimov. Filipov thought about the shot, walks the line, takes it, stopped by Bouchard. Rebound for Mom, a centering feed to Trofimov. Locates it from the backhand, and it'll go behind the net. Doyle watching his every move to the blue line. Filipov trying to get by Mitchell, who is without a stick. Sharp angle bid stopped by Bouchard as Trofimov was trying to go upstairs high blocker. Didn't quite get that shot in exactly the right spot, but you can tell the idea that Georgie Trofimov had in mind. This Finn Musi line 
comes out forward for the Bradford Rattlers. William Daniel Burns and Chris Castagnano are beside him. Castagnano off the faceoff, big rebound. Musi a shot and a lunging stop made by Bouchard. McCarthy, the defenseman, pinching in. The captain of the Rattlers got it to Burns. He and Castagnano battling away with the puck with Gregoire right in the middle between the two of them. Burns from the corner. Mongrain over him, Fortier and Castagnano. Battle for the puck behind the net, Minder Bouchard. Breakout pass, it's LaForge. Stretch pass to the opposite way, it's Hardy couldn't locate it in time. Rodzkov, punch it over ahead for Castagnano to race after it, and he has it now. Castagnano with Mongrain all over him. Hardy and Rodzkov meet on the half board before it's broken up and kept alive in the zone by Musi. Sven Musi got it to the front area. No one in a green uniform was able to locate it in time. Pavel Rodzkov intercepted by Gregoire, got it by McCarthy. Nico Gregoire looking, trying to outweigh Balazs, got it to the high slot, and the puck winds up in. Cadell Kizmatulin and the Temiskaming Titans have tied the game up at four. Miss Queen Titans capitalize on a sloppy defensive play by the Bradford Rattlers and it hurts them. Oliver Balazs did what he could to keep that puck out of the cage, but Kizma Tulin trying to do it pretty much exactly the same thing, just trying to bank it off a player in front. It is safe to say that the Miss Queen Titans have earned where they are right now on the scoreboard. They have tied this up again for the second time here tonight. Gotta to tip your cap to the Temiskaming Titans here tonight. Jakob Rodin trying to get it right back. He got it to the slot area. Bouchard able to get it with his glove and he will hang on and he will he wait. A face off coming to the left of him. A line change is going on for both teams. All five players were on the ice will now come off change for new ones. Over in Malm and Maxence Lemaire. Well, I didn't take this face off. It's won by Malm, but it's scooped on back by Mongreen. Session went right back to the Rattlers. Filipov guards the blue line and got a shot towards the corner looking for Levitsky. And he's, he can skate it and leave it over to Dita Masso and his shot into the breadbasket of Eloy Bouchard, the netminder for the Temiskaming Titans, who has been playing a terrific game here tonight. And of course, got to mention number one for the Bradford Rottlers, Oliver Balazs. Score reads 4-4 for both teams here tonight with 10 minutes and 30 seconds to go here in the third. Perhaps we have overtime looming. Danila Filipov on the half board, trying to keep that puck into the zone. Four Temiskaming Titans are shadowing number four in green. That missed pass by Skripnik, or pardon me, over in Malm with icing being waved off. Titans are just trying to settle down the rolling puck right now. Bernitz back into the zone for the Titans. He got it across to Maxence Lemaire, broken up by Levitsky, a stretch pass on the breakaway, but it was picked off by Mongrain. Filipov can lay it across, a nice touch pass by Trofimov. Daniela Filipov stopped by Bouchard, and the puck was loose for a brief moment. And in an instance like that, the one player coming wide without the puck has to head right to the front of the goal as that puck was laying there for someone to swipe at. Only one close to the puck was the netminder, Eloy Bouchard. The Rattlers want to get more opportunities here. Shoot from the blue line and try to get traffic in front of the eyes of Bouchard. 
Try to get some chaos in front of the goal. Sven Musi after the puck first. He's met there by Lavalle. Goes to the corner where Doyle can whip it around to Hardy's way. Hardy, a pass. Looking for LaForge. Couldn't meet him. Sven Musi from center dumps in. And they're going to call that icing. Look to me, Sven Musi was at center. Interesting call, but I can I say it every time the linesman officials have a way better vantage and viewing point than we do up here at center. So we give the refs a little bit of slack, or at least we try to. Adam Wodkowski trying to test it at Minder Bouchard, but it went wide. Puck did come out of the zone, so the Rattles have to tag up. Wodkowski heads off on a change. Tanner Skripnik comes onto the ice, who has two goals here tonight. Lavalle to Doyle. Elevated pass, trying to shield it down was LaForge. Back in comes Burns for the Rattlers. Shrugged down, and the puck does come out of the zone. And ends up in the Rattler bench, so out of play. Stoppage comes with 8 minutes and 22 seconds to go in the third period. We have a tie game at 4 between the Tamiskaming Titans and the Bradford Rathers here from the BWG on this Saturday night on oh, nice here. The Russell Cup playoffs, it's round two, game three. The Bradford Rattlers, if they win here tonight, will advance to the division final. And if the Titans win, this series goes back to Tamiskaming at two to one. Jakob Rodin backhander, rang it off the outside of the post. And so Erickson takes it for Rodin on a chip pass and it just went on wide. Mongrain with Rodin all over him. It's Fortier. 44 and white. Daniela Filipov punching into the zone to pinch in. That allows the Titans to get that puck out of their own end and break into the Bradford Rattlers under the ice. It's Maxence Lemaire to the high slot looking for Bernice. Picked off by Rodin. Rodin has Erickson and Skripnik coming with him. Looking for Rodin on the pass there by Erickson. Just went astray there. The puck comes over to Daniela Filipov. Filipov will get a trigger pull, shot blocked out, jungled loose right into the breadbasket of Eloy Bouchard. Another alert save made by Eloy. Seven twenty-six time remained in this third period. Over in Malm and Nico Gregoire taking the face off for the respective teams. Malm for the Rattlers, Gregoire for the Titans. Gregoire for the Titans able to win the face off for his team in white. Julian McCarthy, the captain, gave it away. A chance now for the Titans. It's LaForge trying to get by McCarthy. He'll do so. LaForge, he rang it off the post. Back come the Bradford Rattlers. It's Trofimov, a drop pass. Slavitsky, he'll shoot. Stop by Bouchard in the butterfly position. Levitsky from the blue line. Hard pass, found Malm. His shot blocker down by Bouchard. Trofimov trying to locate it back behind the net, but Lavalle can skate it away for the Titans. LaForge shot it on goal to Balazs. She can play it across to Baxter. A pass for Trofimov, broken up at center. Doyle, a reverse hit. Levitsky went down, and he'll head off on a change. Trofimov line stays out. Wachowski and Musi the forwards. The Rattlers setting up a defensive box in the neutral zone, preparing for the Titans break-in. Doyle, strong on a stick, able to get that puck down into the corner. Burns trying to play it off the board. Stegman whipping it to the opposite corner. Wachowski can beat it first, 68 and green. Aerial lift to center, unable to be gloved down by Kismetulin or Burns. And so Mongreen has to whip it across to Stegman's way. Stegman locates it and gets pinned up by Wachowski. Musi. Had a move put on him there by Maxim Lavoy.
Monograin to center, a chip pass out of the reach of Stegman, but he turns it on back to Brandon Mitchell. Mitchell trying to get by the wall of green jerseys in the Rattlers' end. Couldn't do so. Burns on the rolling puck, couldn't shield it down, and so Mongrain has it. Christopher Fonfon shot it into the glove of Oliver Balage, and that will get a offensive zone faceoff coming for the Titans with five minutes and 13 seconds to go in the third period. Shot from the line, kicked up by Balage. Had to be alert on that stop. Skripnik trying to get it back into the zone, broken up, and now Baxter back through center to Skripnik again. Tanner Skripnik again, two goals here tonight for number 27 in green. Rodin couldn't locate that puck, it bobbled over his blade, and so Mitchell can make a shovel backhand attempt over out of the zone. Fonfon, and a race there with Baxter. He and Baxter go into the corner, got it to the slot area, broke into the blue line, Fortier's shot went wide. Fonfon trying to get it back to Mitchell, Balazs is down, and the puck is loose behind the net. Mitchell trying to locate it in time before Filipov can send a screamer up and out of the zone. Puck comes over to Maxence Lemaire. He had a stick tied up there by Erickson. Jakob Rodin getting it back into the zone for Team Green. Got it to the slot area. Skripnik couldn't get a shot away. Dylan D. Tommaso found Erickson. He tipped it in with his skate to redirect it into the corner. And so Erickson will head off on a change in exchange for Alfred Malm, number 19. You can see him peeling away at center. Dylan D. Tommaso shot it from the blue line on goal, handled and played. Long stretch feed. It's Nico Gregoire. He and D. Tommaso. Go into the corner, it's Steven Levitsky. A pass through Rodskov. An outlet dish, it's Oliver and Mom. Trofimov comes in behind him and he uses him here. A drop pass, it's Trofimov. Got it right back to the slot area. Trying to get a tip in was Malm. Trofimov will wheel it back and towards the corner end of the ice. Malm. From the corner boards, left it for Levitsky. Back in it to Trofimov in front there and he just fanned on the shot. Rodskov. Thought about getting a shot away, he'll punch it deeper into the corner. Lavalli gloved it down, played it to himself. That is legal, and so Doyle can flip it up and out of the zone. Two minutes and 55 seconds remain in regulation time here in the third. 4-4 in this game three, round two between the Titans and the Bradford Rattlers. And again, if the Rattlers win tonight, they advance to the division final and Tamiskaming goes home. You know, the Bradford Rattlers, the last thing they want to do after this game is get on a bus and drive all the way up to Tamiskaming. They want to close it out and they want to do it tonight. Danila Filipov played it ahead. It's Chris Castroniano. Made a move into the high slot. He comes in deep. The Titans are playing to keep their season alive here tonight. And the dying moments of the second period, or third period rather, two minutes remain exactly in the third. Musia drop pass. It's Filipov. Perhaps both teams play a little more cautious to get into the overtime frame, but a break up there. It's Hardy. Gaining the zone, he's a lone Titan in there as he tried to play it back over for Lavoy. Hardy on a sharp angle shot there. That had eyes for the top corner. There's been a few defensive zone passes by the Rattlers that have been picked off by the Titans. Rattlers need to be a little more crisp on the breakout. Rodin looking for Erickson. Tanner Skripnik for the hat trick. His shot tested Bouchard who made the stop. A minute 30 to go and Skripnik's pass unable to find Di Damaso. Stretch pass chipped in by Erickson. The netminder Bouchard out of his cage to play it to Mongrain. A minute 15 to go in regulation time. Skripnik and LaForge beat into the half boards. Rodin punched away there by Gregoire. LaForge able to get that puck out of the zone and a race after it. Balazs will come out of the goal to play it with a minute to go in the third. 
JR makes the announcement on the PA here in Bradford. It's Skripnik. An outlet pass was handled away by Erickson. He gets pinned up against the boards by Kizmatulin just outside of the blue line. Broding, little miscommunication there between Di Tommaso. It's Michael Stegman to the high slot, broken up by the Rattlers, and here's Roding. Roding, a stretch pass, looking for Daniel Suda. Couldn't get it deep in time. Fortier for the Tomiskaming Titans, turns on a dime for Mongrain. 28 seconds to go in the third period. Picking up the puck now is Maxim Lavoie. Lavoie get it across to Hardy. Hardy snapped a pass, but it came out of the zone with 20 to go in the third. Nathan Hardy through center, dumps it into the zone with 10 seconds to go. Daniel Suda made a backhand pass, and look out here. Suda gets drilled from behind. And the Bradford Rattlers will start overtime on the man advantage. As that looked to be a hit from behind, and Thomas LaForge might be getting the gate here. As the third period was concluding, Thomas LaForge will be called for two minutes for interference. And so the Bradford Rattlers will begin overtime on the power play. The Rattlers just need one more goal and they eliminate the Temiskaming Titans. But if the Temiskaming Titans were able to score in overtime or get the win in the shootout, and yes, if overtime doesn't solve anything, they do go to a shootout. Score clock does read two minutes. The penalty to Thomas LaForge. teams getting talked over by their respective coaches to gear them up for this overtime period. Whistle sounds and the teams are set to line up at center race from the BWG to start this five minute overtime. The Rattlers have five players out on the ice. The Tomiskaming Titans have four. It's a power play to start overtime for the Bradford Rattlers, and if they win tonight, they advance, and Tomiskaming will go home. But if Tomiskaming can win it tonight, the series will head back to Quebec for a game four. Overtime is underway from the BWG here. And again, Rattlers on the power play. Sven Musi. Gaining the zone for the Bradford Rattlers, he'll just chip it on wide. Steven Levitsky after it first. Levitsky goes back down low to Rodin. Yako Rodin takes his time. Steven Levitsky back to the blue line. Jesper Eriksson. Eriksson, Levitsky, he'll tee one up and he just shot it wide. Eriksson racing back after it. He played it across, not to Musi's way, but Levitsky played it across to Eriksson. His shot deflecting in front and it just went wide. Took multiple deflections. Bouchard never saw it in time. William Daniel Burns goes back behind the cage to Rodin. Handled there by Steven Levitsky. Levitsky thought about a shot, but he'll get it to the blue line to Erickson. He'll let one go deflected, and it just screamed on wide again. And that allows Lavallee to clear the zone for the Temiskaming Titans. Four minutes remain in overtime. A minute to go on the power play for the Rattlers. It's all Red Malm, 19 and green, getting the zone for the Rattlers. He'll get a shot away, and that's off the glass and up and out of play. They're going to say the netminder Bouchard got a piece of that shot by Oliver and Malm, so the faceoff will stay inside the Temiskaming Titans' end. Three minutes and 51 seconds to go. 
52 seconds remain on the power play for the Bradford Rattlers. Titans trying to get that faceoff win and try to clear the puck down the length of the ice, but Stegman has to settle that puck down, and the puck finally comes as far as center. Malm now to Dylan DiDomasso. A drop pass, Alvin Malm. You see him now, the puck handler, gain his way into the zone. Alvin Malm, a shot there, and it got loose, and it went through Bouchard. Just not into the cage, and a good read there by Trofimov. He got it to the blue line to Filipov. Trofimov, stash a pass over to DiDomasso. His shot blocked by Skripnik in front. Skrimnik looking for a chance to get his hat trick here tonight. An overtime winner, that would be something. Trofimov, back to Tanner Skrimnik. Georgie Trofimov, Dita Masso shot there and he shanked it. Mongrain able to clear the zone. Dita Masso has to hurry, Stegman's all over him. Penalty has expired, we are back to five on five here in overtime with two minutes and 50 seconds to go. Sven Musi has the puck now into the Titans and got by his men. Sven Musi from the backhand thought about the wraparound, but he's in the corner now. Sven Musi to the high slot, couldn't find anyone inside the zone. Filipov now to Eriksson. Eriksson through center, it's Trofimov, defender lost an edge. Trofimov, he's in into the glove of Eloy Bouchard. Whistle sounds, so we'll be playing four aside. Again, 2.32, time remaining in period number four. We are in overtime here as the Rattler bench banging on the boards to get this game a little more intensity here. From the faceoff, it's Filipov. Filipov left it for Erickson. Always dangerous in the high slot is Jesper Erickson. A turnaround bed rang off a crossbar by Levitsky, who just whipped it from the blue line. Both teams have hit a few posts and crossbars in tonight's contest, but none bigger than right there in overtime. Steven Levitsky that close. And you would have to think this game will be decided with Steven Levitsky having something to do with it. Jakob Rodin tried to rush it into the slot area. Couldn't get much of a shot on goal, and so Filipov and Eriksson have to tighten in the gap as Kesma Tulin was all over the puck handler there. Brodin back for Filipov, he'll shoot and score! Danilo Filipov, series winner! And the Bradford Rattlers advance to the division finals! Danila Filipov says good night from Bradford. He scores the game winner. He scores the series winner. And the Bradford Rattlers have eliminated the Temiskaming Titans. And they will await the winner of the Vilmarie Pirates and the Knights of Meaford in the Northern Division Final. Danila Filipov, the Russian defenseman they got midseason. Another key acquisition made by Sean Worth to benefit the Bradford Rattlers and none bigger right now as both teams will line up at center for the handshake line. There are a few players for the Temiskaming Titans. This is their last game in the GMHL as both teams will line up at center. Stegman will lead in the line for the Temiskaming Titans. Oliver and Mom will lead it for the Bradford Rattlers. And it's always interesting to see the meetup of the captains and the goaltenders. As Emmanuel Pepin did play in this series in relief for Bouchard in game one. And you can see a defeated Eloy Bouchard will await the lineup now for the Temiskaming Titans getting consoled by his teammates there. Oliver Balage meeting up with Emmanuel Pepin there in the lineup there. Christopher Fonfon shakes the hand of Oliver Balage. Those two, those two players have had tremendous battles 
throughout the years here in the GMHL. And I mentioned every time, Fun Fun seems to always score against the Bradford Rattlers. Unfortunately for the Titans, that theme did not continue here tonight. The only thing that continues is the theme of dominance by the Bradford Rattlers here in this season and hopefully all throughout the playoffs. And this is just one more step to the ultimate goal. And the ultimate goal is the Russell Cup Finals. That's where the Rattlers need to be. They haven't been there since 2013. That's the Bradford Rattlers. Last remaining players finishing up the handshake line as Oliver Balaj will meet with Oliver and Mom at center and they will share a few words for each other there and the amount of hatred that goes on between these teams meeting in the playoffs at the end of the day when it's all said and done when the series is over you can see just the amount of respect they have for each other no matter what colors and no matter what logo you don on the front of your uniform. The goal coming by Filipov for just a minute 59 remaining in the overtime period. And there's the goal scorer, Filipov, getting the BWG on their feet as the Bradford Rattlers march on to the third round of the playoffs. So Filipov says goodnight from Bradford, and we will say goodnight as well. So for Nick Stella and the Bradford Rattlers organization, we bid you all a good hockey night for now, and we will see you in round three.